your troop transport is to run with the frigate fourteen B. B Wing Red will intercept each ship and identify the passengers. There will be at least one carrying officers. This is to be disabled. Once disabled, a commando transport would arrive to capture the officers. The mayhem will arrive less than 10 minutes after you, so move quickly. There you go, you can read it on your own. I'm going to quickly do something real quick. And. Um. More uh, kingdoms of Middle Earth. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of looking over my stuff. You know what I have. Oh, let me go ahead and skip ahead. Here we go. Read that. All right, and you can read this. There you go. And hmm. all right. Pretty set freight forward ID and disable, protect them. And with that being said, uh, we are anyway. We'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna put. Go ahead. And get started. Okay. Uh have a little trouble with this mission. Okay, I've had a lot of trouble. I have had done it over probably 15, 20 times. And I finally got the strategy down. Uh, one of the first things you do is just push Y and save this particular transport to your one of your slots. I prefer the right-hand side, right-hand slot, which you can for whatever, whichever four you use. Uh, and second thing is you set your guns, or your, can your laser cannons, to Full, and I apologize about reading all that from the uh, recording. Um, full cannons, uh, so you set them all to full, and then switch over to your torpedoes. Uh, I'm a little, I'm running, <laughs> pretty much can almost do this blind, and then set send off a few torpedoes. Now you could choose however you want to do this. You can set up dual torpedoes, which will destroy them, or you can send off single torpedoes. You can send off six real quickly. Um, I say it about six for the gunboats. Turns out I really didn't need that many torpedoes. I could have used them all up on the on these. So however many you want to use, um, using torpedoes makes it these go down much quicker. But just be careful about which ones you destroy, and uh, and also which ones you identify. Uh, try to avoid. Uh, I kept switching back and forth, clicking on my save slot just to make sure I wasn't. <clears throat> near the transport, targeting the transport that was, um, that I'm supposed to disable. Uh, I switched back and forth. The reason I did it quickly, switch back, is because I didn't want, I didn't want to accidentally identify it. If you, once you do that, the gunboats come out, and then you have to deal with gunboats in addition to these transports. Now, in the hints section, you saw in the pre, in the briefing, it says send your wing moon after the gunboats. Well, I eventually did that, and he then he left. I don't know if he was damaged from all these stinking transports. There are 18 of them, 18 of them by the way. Uh, or, you know, whatever. But he left. So I had to do the gun, the gun mods by myself. And you have to quickly destroy these transports really fast. Henceforth, why you should use torpedoes. You know, in the beginning. So, that's something to consider. Also, you have to constantly keep 
avoiding these t these transports. You gotta fly just fast enough to get out of their move out of their gun sights, but slow enough not to run into them. Yeah, it's kind of it's frustrating. This thing this is a frustrating mission. You know, once you get the hang of it, you probably could do it easier, but it's just it's so frustrating. Come See, on. Yeah, I get pretty frustrated. These guys is just it's ridiculous. And telling your gunman that your wingman to target a, a transport is death sentence for him. He's pretty much cannon. He's the only thing he's good for. I really think is cannon fodder. That's all he's really good for. I mean, when I, I when I turn around and I, I did it this several times. Basically, I turned around, flew away from him, launched some torpedoes, and did it like that. But I kept, they kept coming in close, so that didn't work. And I ended up fighting, dual fighting them anyway, so, I mean, you could do that. But you got to keep in mind, if you have a time limit, start with, like, about nine minutes. In about three minutes, I believe, you'll, you'll see in the video, a frigate arrives and then launches fighter Target interceptors destroyed. and bombers at you. Yeah, it makes it much harder, so that's why you kind of have to be pretty quick taking down these these uh, transports. Why I use full cannons, why I use the torpedoes at the beginning. I highly recommend doing that. Again, you might just use all your torpedoes, single torpedoes on 12 of them, and then destroy them with cannons. It's like a few shots with cannons, they go down pretty quickly. Oh, uh, you also be careful when you destroy them not to run into them when they they explode. They often, you know, that's another way I died a lot. Uh, what else? Uh, or six of them with dual dual torpedoes would kill them. Uh, however, way you have to destroy at least 17 of them because one of them you have to save and, and disable. Them, so. Target destroyed. I mean, they, they start after, as they start, as they get thinned out, it gets much easier. So, I mean, it's something to consider for t using du dual torpedoes for six of them, I guess it makes it, it's something to consider, you know, dealing with, Target destroyed. uh, let's see, 17, 11 versus dealing with 17 of them, or I guess 12, yeah, 17 shooting at you, or 18, I should say, 18 shoot at you, dealing with 12 of them that are shooting at you, and one of them you have to and level them you have to destroy you know do them at, you figure it out however if you when you if you guys have this and get a chance to play it figure that you could kind of decide for yourself I don't know I just thought that you know it's just they go down so fat quickly I thought you know single torpedo 12 of them shoot them quickly you know get it over with but again they come right at you at the beginning it'd be, it'd be great if they weren't going so quickly at you or your wingman doesn't seem, seem to aggro them, but he does. He flies right into them. That's another thing you have to avoid. Running into your wingman. Your wingman's fire, and running actually running into your wingman. He seems to be likes to fly, you know, right into the swarm of gunboats, I, 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 uh, tor of, of transports. I, I don't know. It's crazy fight. It's crazy flyer mission. I should say this. this is what is probably one of the titles on the video. Crazy, cr crazy transports. Crazy transport driver. That would be awesome. Crazy transport driver. You know. yeah. Think about it, LucasArts. Crazy transport driver. There's no copyright in that. No. Uh, and, of course, the other thing I'm advised to give you is to keep... Yeah, there's my wingman. Uh, to keep recharging your your keep balancing out your shields and keep recharging them. Um, again, in the beginning it's a lot harder because they're all firing at you once, but once they start Roger, going away, I told them to ignore that target because I know that he's the. I don't want him, my wingman to actually to accidentally destroy him, which he's possibly could he might have done, and make this another fail. So. I told him to ignore him quickly. You know, I double check my always double check it, make sure it's not the run when I'm supposed to disable, and I destroy the other rest of them. Now, if you want, you can always identify these, but I don't really like getting that close to the <laughs> the transports to do that because they might turn on you and you might run into them. 
Second thing is, of course, is once you have two of them, or a few of them, you kind of know which ones to go after, so. Target destroyed. And of course, uh, let's save link time. Now, I kind of said, uh, I need to, yeah. And he's kind of far. I keep single shot on the ion cannon because the ion cannon is a little bit is a little bit slower than the standard uh, the standard uh, laser cannon because it fires slower. And so firing multiple shots is guaranteed better. You get a better chance of hitting him. But then again, also getting close to him, which I really didn't want to do. Didn't want to fly up close to this guy and end up running into him and losing the mission again. So. I was kind of like, okay, I'll have to get close to him. So, that's what I did. I got a little closer to him, reduced my speed, and basically just let him have the, you know, just, I reduced speed again, just didn't want to take a chance, he's going to run him. Um, and I don't know, I can't really tell the radar if... Roger, using designated target. B-Wing entered, did you see that? B-Wing entered hyperspace. Ah, you freaking! Oh no, maybe that was a new. Ah, I can't tell. I think they said B wing entered hyperspace. Red two, incoming missile. Red two, incoming yeah, you want to fire at these two, missiles and take them out real quickly. I still get hit. I still get hit. <sighs> Love these gunboats. Love them. Yeah, it probably is a waste to use these torpedoes. It's probably just stick to cannons. I probably do that. Um, use the torpedoes on the transports. Okay, I'll 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 go in agreement. Use the torpedoes on the transports. Bingo. So that's it, guys. You know, if you're hearing this part of the mission, use torpedoes on the transports only. Use dual or use single, whatever you feel like. Take the gunboats down with cannons. There you go. See, I just admitted. But again, I was just glad this is a successful mission. Obviously, I, I'm telling you this on the afterward. And uh, let's see here. You see how? It, and I love. You gotta love X-wing messaging system in X-wing. It's still just catching up. The fact that I've destroyed all these transports. Disabled things. It's it's still just it's just now catching up. Yeah, it's just kind of um. Okay, yeah, transport destroyed. Um, let's see what else. Uh, this one's disabled. Okay, this one's identified. You know, it's see, transport cap of four is destroyed. It's just displaying it now. It's just, you gotta love it. And I absolutely, I give you a little hint for the end. I absolutely waited. Waited to make sure that I got a mission complete before I left this. I didn't want to take a chance and have to do this whole thing all over again. And it may seem like it's a long mission. It's not really that long. It's only, like I say, nine minutes uh, about. Let's see how long it is. Total length of this is... Thirteen minutes. Thirteen minutes, that's it. So, there you go. Not that long, just really frustrating. And of course I disabled the last, the last gunboat, just in case another wave would arrive. I didn't want to take any chances. I disabled them. You can do whatever you want. You, if you want to destroy all of them, I don't know if there's another wave automatically comes in. I didn't want to take a chance. I just waited for this, this transport just to board this thing pick these guys up and get out. And he jumps out. There you go. He's gone and it's still wait still waiting. Yeah, you know, I just got the disabled messages coming up, identification messages coming up on my screen. <coughs> it's still catching up. Uh So, I decided okay. I'm going to put everyone behind me. I'm going to put full speed to my engines and just just gun it. I didn't want to take a chance. I didn't want to take a chance. I just gunned it the opposite direction and just went away. Ran away. 
waiting for this complete message, and then then I left. It's just gotta love this. You gotta love the messages. <coughs> and still, and transports into hyperspace, and. And mission complete. There you go. And finally, this has been mission 14B of campaign number 5. <clears throat> Obviously played from the historical standpoint, but it's played. And it's done. And I don't like it. Too many transports. Man. 18 trans. Let's see here. 17 of 6. I have. S 16 of. 16 of 17 transports. Because one of them. 8 out of 18. 1 out of 18 was one our main transport. <coughs> 18 were firing on us, and we had destroyed 17 of them. Fun. So. That was mission number, as I said, 14B. And uh, go ahead, give us, give me a like for this video, and get, you know, get some, uh, you know, if you'd like to see the more of this video, give it a like. Go ahead, give a comment, drop a comment, drop. And of course, I like to see, I read all my comments and try to respond to all my comments. And, and I also look for, but I mostly look for uh, the, the comments that give the videos, actually improve the videos. And that's, I look at those comments more in depth. And try to uh, try to implement what best I can. What uh, suggestions? And of course, if you'd like to see more of these videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And of course, check my channel uh, every day. Well, not every day. Uh, a few times a week. You know, once uh, beginning or end of the week uh, for new videos. And if you know, you don't, if you inbox, always check the channel because the inbox is uh, well. Let's just say the new inbox is not. I'm not very favorable with new inbox. It looks like I'm reading a newspaper, and it can be hard to see. And instead of the nice little tiles I had before, now it's newspaper style, and you can get lost. So I would probably go to the channel when all possible if you're curious about new videos. And I'll try to keep the videos in the playlist so you can always jump on the playlist and you, from there you can go and see them there. So. And but so that being said, until next time, YouTube viewers, this is Malachi D. Wildman signing off and saying, take care.